What is up, my friends? So Suspiria is a movie that is a remake. Yeah, but this is directed by the same guy who did the... Oh, what was that movie called that I saw last year? It was Call Me By Your Name, a movie that I truly loved and I definitely recommend you check out. I think that Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet, I think I'm saying that right, did a tremendous job of bringing this love story to life and it's definitely one of the best love stories I've ever seen. Now, he trades all of that into a horror now and the horror is more of a psychological art house film than anything but it still creeps up under your skin. So the movie basically deals with Patricia Hengel, a student at Markle's Dance Academy in Berlin. She begins to tell her psychiatrist, Joseph Klemperer, however, who was played actually by Tilda Swinton as well, and so Tilda Swinton plays like three characters in this movie, that the academy is run by a coven of witches. And then she just disappears. And the psychiatrist isn't like, maybe she's talking about those witches. Nah, he's just like, no, she's probably just a delusional person. But, however, she leaves some breadcrumbs of some mothers in her journals and all of this. And he slowly starts to be like, "Mm, actually, something could be up with all of this going on. So there's the mother of sighs, the mother of darkness, and the mother of tears. And he basically is just like, I don't know what's going on. Then we cut to Susie, a student from Ohio who begins her stay at the academy after Madame Blanc sees her as raw talent. During a rehearsal, however, Olga, a Russian student, gets pissed when Madame Blanc proposes that Patricia actually may have joined the Red Army faction. She then storms out and she calls of Blanc a witch in Russian. Talk about the foreshadowing. She is then trapped in a room full of mirrors, not able to leave, and it's just a bad case of a carnival ride. As Blanc resumes rehearsal once more, Susie begins a violent dance, and this violent dance touches Olga's soul, or actually it crushes her bones, and actually also ruptures her viscera, killing her, and then we see Olga's body be dragged by the academy matrons using large hooks because you gotta reel them in back. And I should stop with these. Anyway, soon after, Blanc makes Susie her protege, taking her under her wing and making her the lead of the Academy's new piece, Volk. Sarah, the wealthy girl we met earlier when Susie first came to the Academy, starts to uncover secrets about the Academy and grows suspicious over who Susie is or is trying to be. We then see Klempler back again, attending the opening night for Volk. Sarah is uncovering a secret hallway that leads into some catacombs into school and then she finds a severely disfigured Patricia. Before Sarah can get the fuck out of there she is then had her leg broken by some of the matrons and then we see the performance start and then Sarah comes out halfway she's dancing like a damn robot her eyes have gone from brown to blue and we see Susie's go from blue to brown. Klempler notices all of this and he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, and he leaves pretty disturbed. After the performance, there is a celebratory dinner at a bar. Klempler, meanwhile, encounters Ink, his wife, which he believed to be dead, but turns out to be Miss Hewler, who is actually luring him back to the academy after dinner. Susie wanders into the passageways, where she wanders into a chamber where Vlanc and the other matrons have an incapacitated Klempler. Overlooking all of this is a disfigured woman whom Blanc introduces as Mother Helena Marcos and tells Susie she will be the new vessel for Marcos. Dancers begin to enter the chamber and they start to perform a ritualistic dance but Susie's like, hold the fuck up, I'm no damn vessel and she reveals I am Mother Suspirium. And she's basically claiming the academy back and kills Mother Marcos and her faithful matrons as well. Blanc gets nearly decapitated during this whole ordeal. The three mothers who were disguised were Sarah, Olga, and Patricia, and they plead for their death, and it is of course granted. The next day, Miss Hewler discovers Madame Blanc still hasn't died, but she's on the verge of it, so... Just let her be and she'll take care of that. 
The academy operates as normal and Susie goes to visit Klempler. He reveals to him that his wife is indeed dead and that she actually died in a concentration camp and then gives him a violent seizure to erase his memories and leaves. And that's pretty much what happens. So what the fuck is going to happen next? Well, I'm not too sure, but I thought it was pretty interesting to see Susie is actually the mother of Suspirium. And it makes sense her coming in here pretending to be some dancer with so much raw talent and energy that they would want to offer her body as a vessel for Marcos. And then pretty much get into the inside of it all. So it's kind of like American Horror Story Coven inside woman. Anyways... I thought that the movie was pretty interesting. There was definitely a sequel. The director has talked about this being called Insidious. Why am I calling this Insidious? This being called Superior Part 1 and that there would be a Part 2. But he just didn't want to call it that just in case. Looks like it'll be fine at the box office. So we'll definitely see and hear more about this story. So pretty interested in that. But I'd like to know your position on Suspiria. What do you think about this one versus the original? Which one do you like more? I'd really like to know your thoughts on that and all of that as well. And I'll definitely be making a video on all the symbolism as well by the end of the weekend. Because there's definitely a lot of symbolism here. But at the end we can pretty much attest that Klempler has come to have closure in his life now thanks to Susie. Susie will probably leave who knows where. And then pretty much I'm just saying that this is definitely a movie to check out if you're really into the art house horror type films anyways however make sure you subscribe comment like share all that good stuff i'll see y'all next time as always my friends stay positive